Hey, what's going on everyone? So recently I got an Intel Nook to set up a home lab. Um, it's been awesome. The performance is great. I'm running ESXi on it. I've got a bunch of virtual machines running on there. Uh, this model in particular is just the i5 8th generation quad core processor. Um, I'll show it right here. So we got a couple of USB ports here. We've got the headphone audio jack, power button. There's room for a micro SD card. We also have USB-C, two more USB ports, Ethernet, HDMI, and power. So yeah, like I said, i5 processor, I threw in 16 gigs of RAM, 500 gig NVMe drive, um, installed ESXi on that. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what that console looks like. All right, so after you install VMware ESXi, it's going to give you an IP address. And what you'll do is you'll connect to that IP address in your browser like so. Go ahead and log in with your credentials. Now here's what the console looks like. So just kind of a quick overview. If we click on host here, we can see our server setup. We can see Currently, how much CPU is being utilized, how much memory, how much storage is being utilized. We can go ahead and click on virtual machines and we can see all the virtual machines that are installed. We can see the running indicator here. If we go down to storage, we can actually see the storage that our server has. And I have a 500 gig hard drive in here. We can click on data store browser and we can actually browse that. We can also go into networking here and we can set up different VLANs and switches. So what I'll quickly walk you through is just how to install a virtual machine. So what you'll do is you'll click on virtual machines here. Go over to create register VM. And then go ahead and create a new virtual machine hit next. So the name, you'll just give your VM name. And then as far as compatibility goes, leave that default, guest OS family. So that just means what operating system will you be running, whether it's Linux, Mac, other, or Windows. We'll click on Windows here. The guest OS version, so what version of that operating system are you running? We're gonna go ahead and click on whatever you have. In this case, I'll click on Windows 10. You can also enable Windows virtualization-based security, which if you have a TPM chip in your server, you'll be able to utilize that on your virtual machines. That is a security feature that Windows 10 and like Windows Server 2016, 2019 use for enabling various security features. So if you want, you can go ahead and click on that. Otherwise, click Next. All right, so you can select your storage drive. If you have multiple storage locations, I just have the one. I'm gonna go ahead and click on next. Okay, so here is where you can allocate resources to your virtual machine. Now, if you're not doing anything crazy, you can probably get away with using one CPU core and like two gigs of, two gigs of RAM, whatever you wanna do here. Now, the one thing you'll wanna do is go down to the DVD drive Click this drop down and click on data store ISO file. So I forgot to show you this before, but what you'll want to do is go in here and upload your ISO files. So you want to go into the storage section, go to this GUI and upload your ISO files here. This way, when you image a virtual machine, it'll be able to read the ISO file and boot from it. So since I told it that I was setting up a Windows 10, VM, I'll go ahead and click on that ISO, I'll click next, or, or select here, and then you'll go ahead and click on next. All right, this just uh, gives you a brief overview of all the options you selected, verify that's all correct. If so, you'll click on finish. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on cancel because I already have my virtual machine set up. Okay, so after you click on finish, what you'll wanna do is turn on the VM and then finish installing whatever operating system you chose. So to do so, you'll wanna make sure that you click on the virtual machine here, go ahead and click on power on to turn it on. And then you have a couple different options of connecting to it. So if we click on the console tab here, 
we can open a new browser console, we can open in a new window and a new tab, we can launch it with VMware Remote Console. Now, in order to do that last one, you need to install VMware Remote Console. So just click on this link here, go ahead and install it. I already have it installed, so I'll go ahead and click on Launch Remote Console. You'll click on Open, and then it's gonna bring you to your virtual machine. Now, since I already have my virtual machine set up, it's just taking me to the login screen. If you don't have yours set up, you'll have to go through the whole interface to install your operating system. So that's just kind of a quick overview of the ESXi console here and how you can set up your virtual lab environment.